They call each other dear old friends, and in their 40th meeting, Chinese President Xi Jinping labeled Russian President Vladimir Putin his partner in war and peace. China attaches great importance to China-Russia relations because we are each other's biggest neighboring countries as well as strategic partners. The two men share authoritarian recipes for power and a mutual desire to upend U.S. influence. China remains one of the biggest buyers of Russian energy. Chinese companies are providing Russia with parts essential to maintain Russian weapons. The two countries conduct joint military exercises. And since the war in Ukraine began, China has neither endorsed nor condemned it. Beijing's new peace plan calls for upholding Ukraine's sovereignty, but not for Russian troops to withdraw, an approach Putin endorsed today. We know that you proceed from the principles of justice and observance of the fundamental provisions of international law, of indivisible security for all countries. But today, Secretary of State Antony Blinken rejected in advance any call for a ceasefire. Calling for a ceasefire that does not include the removal of Russian forces from Ukrainian territory would effectively be supporting the ratification of Russian conquest. It would recognize Russia's attempts to seize the sovereign neighbor's territory by force. It would enable Russia to further entrench positions in Ukraine. This weekend, Putin tried to show just how entrenched his position in Ukraine already is. In a staged and scripted nighttime visit, Russian TV showed him speaking to residents of Mariupol. Never mind the daytime view, a city nearly obliterated by Russian troops. This weekend, Putin also visited Russian-occupied Crimea, including what Russian media described as a children's center. One day after Putin became an indicted war criminal for allegedly overseeing the forced deportation of Ukrainian children. In part because of those war crimes, Putin and Russia are increasingly isolated. But today's visit came with an endorsement from the leader of the world's second largest economy and military. Thanks to your strong leadership, Russia has achieved significant success in reaching prosperity and well-being of the country. I am sure that the people of Russia will support you in your best efforts. Beijing casts Xi as a peacemaker, and he's expected to speak with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky following his trip to Moscow.